Hello guys, this is, <coughs> um, this is little me. Welcome back to my little corner of the universe. Welcome back to the book corner. So before I begin, I want to say, um, I have decided to read two books in one go, and I actually am now reading four books total. The, um, the one I'm reviewing is now makes it down to three, and then I'm about almost ready to finish uh, the first book in the uh, Keepers of the Lost Cities, of, yeah, Lost Cities, <clears throat> book number one. So I'm almost done uh, with that book. I will be done with that book today. And then I'm going to uh, do a review of that book um, today. And then um, I will start on the second book tomorrow. So, yeah. So I'm really excited about that, uh, and uh, that book has been absolutely um, amazing. So I'm looking forward to doing a full book review of the first book of that series. And the great thing is I don't have to climb on top of my chair to put the book away. Um, it's actually going to go on the second shelf, so I'm very happy about that. I don't have to subject the poor chair to my weight, so I'm very happy about that. All right, um, yeah, so uh, the 30 Minutes for 30 Days uh, readathon that St. Jude is doing, that I'm taking part in, has been an absolute blast, and I've really um, enjoyed doing that. All right, so we're doing a review of Joen Flunk uh, Strawberry Shortcake Murder. Um, this has about... Um, This has 25 chapters, including an epilogue. Uh, so we find out that um, that Hannah is allergic to uh, strawberries, which is uh, which is you know she's like, well, I'm not allergic to uh, I'm not really allergic to everything. I'm just allergic to strawberries. So it's really kind of weird that she's allergic to strawberries, yet she was tasting something that had a, I don't know. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's something that the author overlooked, like, you know, how you write something and then you contract it. I don't know. But um, I really doubt that Hannah would lie about being allergic to strawberries, and then, I don't know. It's weird. Um, so this guy called Boyd uh, ends up dead with... Um, a strawberry shortcake in his face. Not exactly what you want to see on your dessert. Um, and so, you know, this is, this is, there's a, um, there's a bake-off going on and everything. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Hannah has to, like, figure out, like, you know, what's going on. Um... I think that he uh, killed Lucy. Um, I'm gonna look, check back here um, because um, yeah. So it says here um, no, yeah. So it says here uh, Mason is in big trouble. He killed Boyd and he killed Lucy. Um, I. Yeah, I don't really know who Lucy was. Um, yeah, I don't know who Lucy was. Um, I'll I'll have to I'll have to find out. But yeah, so um, yeah, I'm gonna have to find out who Lucy was because I don't remember who she was in the book. Uh, but like like I said, oh. Uh, like I say, most of my videos, and I'm, I'm always honest about it, um, in most of my videos, I say, I really like this book, and I really did. Um, and, uh, you know, not a lot of authors out there can actually manage to uh, surprise you on who the killer is. Uh, Cleo Cole does a great job of it. Um, Joanne Funk is also... Uh, Joanne Flunk is also another author that's really good at it. 
uh, there's really not a lot of authors out there that makes you guess, like, okay, who is the killer, and all that. Just absolutely loved it. The cover is absolutely gorgeous, and I just absolutely loved it so much. Um, so I'm going to give this uh, five stars. Um, I'm just, yeah. And uh, also, something else, the epilogue also does contain, not contain, but also has it in it that uh, Hannah is... Um, Hannah wants to learn how to shoot a gun, which after all the stuff that she's been through the last two books, I can understand why she wants to learn how to shoot a gun. So yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a great, great book. And uh, I read about five chapters a day, uh, and um, I got done with it, and I enjoyed it. Okay. So that's what uh, I'm doing from now on, is reading, like, two books in, like, one setting. And I was really concerned that I started doing this and I would get the synapses all mixed up. And now I'm discovering that sometimes you'll finish uh, one book ahead of the other book and you'll be able to keep them separate. So, yeah. So, uh, I did get a book recommendation. Uh, it's a Victorian crime mystery. I've never read Victorian crime mysteries before. So, um, so to the person who recommended that Victorian crime mystery, I don't remember the title of it. My Kindle's currently recharging, so I don't have it on me. But the library had the ebook of that book, so I am also currently reading that book. So I'm reading a, probably about six or seven books um, in one go. So, uh, yeah. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys around. Bye.